Yeah, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for having me for this interview. Uh, I'm really excited. I'll answer the questions to my best ability. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm inspired by typical animation. Uh, Adventure Time and regular show are a huge, huge inspiration of mine. SpongeBob, I'll lay down a, um, a reference to SpongeBob in that. Um, basically, just I grew up watching cartoons and I just love animation and doing this really made me happy and I learned how to do it and it's not too bad. Well, the background on this is I had to take a independent study in computer science. Well, I didn't have to, but I chose to. Um, I had to write an essay, I had to do a bunch of research and write paragraphs, and it's, it, was, it was a lot of work to get it, and out of nine people, I was one of the two to be selected to do it, and I chose animation, and I just, I, I loved it, it was fun. Um, my favorite character would probably be, I don't want to say Abraham, because he's, he's everybody's favorite character, of course, because he's the main character. Um, I'm going to go with Vice President Salminia because he was my least used character and I really enjoyed doing his voice. His voice was probably my favorite one to do. I voiced all the characters, by the way. Um, so I made this basically fueled by electronic pop and just a lot of remixes and anything I can find on YouTube. I know it's embarrassing, but I don't care. <laughs> I like to say thanks to Miss Connolly for her help. She helped me a lot. I taught myself, but she was always there for guidance whenever I needed her. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all these sounds and all these people that I use their sounds for. All these sounds right here, that was really helpful. I didn't credit them in the credits, but I'll credit them here. So let me run through the process. So first things first, I start off in Google Docs and I started writing a script. The script took me about three days maybe to write. It's not a legit script, but something to help out with. Um, after that, I basically, I went to Photoshop and I used this little tablet that we have and I hand draw everything. I had really, really early animations without lines or drawings and it was just, it was absolutely terrible and like, they were ugly so I had to redo them of course. Um, then I draw them all, uh, export them as PNG and then <laughs> the magic happened. I take them and I put them in a flash. Flash was, a lot of fun. I had a lot of exportation issues with memory. I, they kept saying run out of memory, so I'd have to export in tiny, tiny clips. Um, but as you can see, I just motion tween it, key it, and have movements. I'd have things with eyes, things with arm movements, things with mouth movements. That was really hard. Um, so I take that, and then I would export them into a movie file. Sometimes it wouldn't work so I'd have to export them into GIF and it is pronounced GIF by the way. Um, I'd have to export them there and then convert them online. It was it was a pain in the butt. It was a very it was a painful process that's for sure but I had to do it if I wanted those clips. Um, so I take those and I would export those to or import those to Final Cut Pro. I used that, you could see all the tiny, tiny clips. Those are each just one mouth movement or arm movements, and I had to repeat them over and over because I couldn't do it in flash because it kept crashing. So I had to make it here. Um, it was a labor of love, that's for sure, with all the voices and the sound effects. Some of the sound effects I did myself, I did the whistles, and um, basically all the voices, that was, that was fun. Um, GarageBand, GarageBand I used to create some audio if I needed it. But not too much. I used After Effects to create the intro and the credits. After Effects, I've, I've learned, I've been studying After Effects. It's a great program. I have a few references that I threw into the um, into the animation, and it's one of them is um, a heart with my mother and my father's first initial on it. You can't see it; it was out of the cut, but the original version I had it. Um, another was a poster that said Four Score and Seven Years Ago, and it was Abraham. And in case you didn't know. Abraham is a plan, Abraham. So, and the more you know, the idea was created by, it was me and my brothers and my family, we went down, my family, my brothers and I, went down to Florida one year, and we all sat there, we're like, Abraham Lincoln. What if he was a bear and we called him Abraham? And basically, it, the, that entire like vacation, my brothers and I would just keep coming up with just quotes, scenes, 
etc. Whatever we could think of that would be a bear ham link, and then we're like, uh, what should we call it? Bear Force One. So like Air Force One playing Bear Force One, and we have um, a reference to one of my brother's original drawings of Bear Force One was the first plane that flies in the intro. So there's a lot of references in it. You don't really get it a lot of them unless I actually explain it to you or you're part of the family. Like the guy throwing up at the end. After I watched it, I sat there, I was like, this makes no sense to people who don't know what it was about. It was basically just a scene about a really nervous guy who threw up and that was kind of paying homage to my family and the things we came up with. So yeah, yeah, and let's look at, let's look at all these files I have. Honestly, I saved every flash file, every clip, every picture, every audio. Honestly, anything you can think of that I could save, I saved, and I saved them all individually. So I have so, so many files. Well, so uh, thank you, thank you for this interview. And I just want you guys to know, there's nobody there. I was interviewing myself the whole time. <laughs>